First impressions can go a very long way in shaping people's opinion of you. And when it comes to League of Legends, sometimes you only have one chance to showcase your talents. So it's important to shine the brightest during that first impression, and that's exactly what these guys did. Here are the five best player debuts. Number five. After playing on C9's Challenger team, Contracts debuted on the LCS squad in week one of the 2017 spring split at just 17 years old. His first test on the big stage was the team's biggest rival in Team Solo mid, and the rookie was up to the challenge. Contracts secured first blood with Kha'Zix and kept the snowball rolling from there. He finished game one with a team high seven kills. In Game 2, Contracts, Lee Sin dominated the early game, racking up 7 kills at 20 minutes. The rookie's KDA of 5.2 led Cloud9 to a 2-0 series sweep over the defending champs. Number 4 Due to visa issues, Piglet was unable to play with Team Liquid in Week 1 of the 2015 NALCS Spring Split, forcing Keith to sub in. What does Liquid decide to do? Well, they drafted a Juggernaut comp based entirely around their substitute AD carry, and with that, Latoucan officially arrived. Keith died just once against Team Impulse and eventually sealed the win with a triple kill. The next day, Keith played Caitlyn and put on a show against NA's most famous AD carry, Double Lift. Here come the shots. Keith trying to focus on a link. That was a headshot. Can he get one more peacemaker? They may not be able to reinitiate this fight. Holy and they holy. themselves Keith think they have the upper hand, bad. but get power played on. But he's got the makings of the Bloodthirster already. Oh, double lift. He wants the one versus one. Him. Oh, got man. Him. Woo. Backwards, too. Flips. Oh, no. Well, it's at the cost of oh, the team. Oh, he lives. <laughs> Keith led Team Liquid to a perfect 2-0 week with a ridiculous KDA of 19. Number 3 Technically, Reckless made his professional debut with Fnatic way, way back in 2012 at DreamHack Winter. The then 16-year-old AD Carey put up a tournament best 7.1 KDA in 8 games as Fnatic dropped just one game while winning the entire event. Reckless was unable to play in the 2013 EU LCS due to his age, paving the way for his debut part two in 2014. Go flash straight in, Timbers on towards him, but there's not enough damage coming out. And now Yenistar gets pulled in towards the tower. Diamond joins them at the top here. This could turn out horribly for Fnatic. We think it's gonna be a double kill! The Super Mega Death Rocket! Oh, and Diamond gets flashed away by Reckless, but can he close the gap? He's gonna go in towards Reckless, he should. No, Barrier Bait pulls him out, and they don't get Reckless had the rare honor of basically debuting twice and delivered in both as he ended his first LCS game with eight kills, nine assists, and zero deaths. Number two. In the inaugural LCS season in 2013, TSM found themselves in third place after week five when the team decided to sub out starting AD carry Chaos for a variety of reasons. In Week 6, Wild Turtle, formerly of Quantic and Cloud9, got the start, and in his very first game, he didn't waste any time showing off his talents. Wild Turtle out the back, just hitting, hitting one after the other. There's a double kill for him. Loud Amonis goes in, that's going to feed him a triple kill. MIA strand, that's going to be a quadra kill. Can he get the penta kill? Brunch, you one on one, it's going to be the penta kill for a beautiful play. Wild Turtle stepping up. Chaos, do you have something to answer right now? Because your replacement is doing a fantastic job, and that is the game for Team Solo Mid. Turtle followed up his Penta with two solid Draven games and led TSM to a 3 0 week six and took over as the starting AD for the next two years, marking the end of the season two MVP's time with Team Solo Mid. Number one. 2013 champion Spring was the birth of a legend. Faker made his debut with SK Telecom as nothing more than a rising solo queue star. 
His first test as a pro was that year's all-star mid laner and one of the best in the entire world, CJ Blaze's ambition. Before the game even hit 10 minutes, CJ had felt the wrath of Faker. Oh, whoa, ambition. What Faker just executes ambition. A big tower dive. They're gonna come down this bottom lane. Captain Jack, the first target, and Lust Boy's not going to escape either, I don't think. He's gonna flash. Maybe we'll get away. No, there's a spear. A double kill for Faker. What a statement by this solo queue hero. Faker claims another one. So Faker Jeez. at seven and a half minutes is four, zero, and zero on Nidalee. SKT went on to 2-0 CJ. Faker finished the set with nine kills, two deaths, and 15 assists in two Nidalee games, taking the first step with an SKT giant that would dominate the scene for years to come. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.